The other quote, this one by Raphael Itan, Chief of Staff of Israeli Defense Forces, quoted in the New York Times in 1983. When we have settled the land, all the Arabs will be able to do about it will be to scurry around like drugged cockroaches in a bottle. Vladimir Jabotinsky, would you like to quote? Has any people ever seen, has any people ever been seen to give up their territory of their own free will? In the same way, the Arabs of Palestine will not renounce their sovereignty without violence. I also, um, in response to um, his, uh, the, his claim of an existential threat against Israel in 1967, this one, this quote, is by Israeli General Matityahu Pelet, quoted in the Haaretz, March 19th, 1972. He said, and I quote, the thesis that the danger of genocide was hanging over us in June of 1967, and that Israel was fighting for its physical existence, is only bluff, it, which was born and developed after the war. Um, and, it, you know, these are not falsities. These, these are realities that have been, been written about. Um, they have been verified by Israel's own historians. The ethnic cleansing of Palestinians is not a myth. It's not falsities, as Mr. Dershowitz would have you believe. It's a reality. Three million Palestinians live in refugee camps that are not fit for human beings. The rest of us live in a diaspora or live under an unbelievably cruel military occupation that has been condemned by every human rights organization that has ever observed the situation there. Most recently, Richard Goldstone, which again, Mr. Dershowitz called a lawyer and despicable and a moser of all things, um, accused Israel of war crimes and the more serious crime of crimes against humanity. These are not falsities, these are realities. Israel has imprisoned an entire people, denied them food, denied them access to clean water, has bombed their schools, has, has turned 80% of Gaza's children suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. Fishermen are not allowed to go and catch fish. People cannot go about their lives and this has been called by another scholar, which Mr. Dershowitz has also called a liar. Susan, I've um, actually given you yeah. more time than okay, I Okay, that's fine, yeah, absolutely. And I think there are so many places in which this, these, I don't want to call them narratives, I would call them debates, happen, and they're important debates. Well, let's look at the future, let's look at the future. Susan suggested in her remarks that she does not favor the two-state solution. Can we ask her directly? She talked about Palestine being a multicultural. That sounded to me like the one-state solution. Do you think it's a two-state solution? So I'm going to I'm going to pause. Well, I'm, 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 no, okay. I'm, I'm That's so, clear. I'm she does not favor the two-state solution. I'll tell you. No, I need to respond it's, to that, Jim. Please. Um, I, 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 I,